Idaho Fish and Game reacts to a proposed law in Boise that would let people harvest roadkill they find along the highway. Good evening. Thanks for watching tonight. I'm Todd Blackington. It's not a pleasant sight, but odds are you've seen dead animals on the side of the highway. Well, believe it or not, there is value in these deceased animals, and State Representative Dick Harwood is proposing a change in Idaho's laws to allow for these animals to be harvested. Naturally, this will have a direct impact on Idaho Fish and Game. So Phil Campbell tells us how they think this will impact our game population. The Senate Resources Committee is looking over the possibility of allowing Idahoans to harvest valuable fur-bearing animals like bobcats, foxes, bears, and mountain lions that have been run over by cars. It sounds simple enough, but there are provisions in place to make sure that if it becomes law, hunters won't be trading in their guns for their pickup trucks. This proposal that's going forward is talking about animals that could normally be hunted or trapped in the state of Idaho legally. So we're not talking about eagles, for example, or other raptors or other species of animals that are not part of uh, our big game or upland game um, management. And then second, we're talking about accidental uh, collisions with wildlife. So anybody that, if this, this law were to pass, anybody that would engage in, in the intentional killing of an animal with the use of their vehicle would actually be in violation of, um, of the law and it, we would treat them as we would poachers. Say you're driving down the interstate and you notice a fresh kill well, under the proposed new changes, it would probably be within your rights to harvest the animal. But Jennifer says you might want to think twice before putting it on the dinner table. Even if an animal is, is, has been freshly killed as a result of an accidental collision, those animals have s still sustained such traumatic events and their, their internal organs and their, their, just their meat and all that may still not be in acceptable condition for consumption. So it's probably more or less um, going to be a, a benefit for those that are just looking for parts like hides and antlers or fur off of some of our fur bearers. We spoke with Senator Bear from Blackfoot who is the vice chair of the Senate Resources and Environment Committee. He believes a decision on whether or not to allow this bill to make it out of committee could be made as soon as this Friday. Reporting in Pocatello, Phil Campbell, KPVI News 6. And Jennifer Jackson says this bill would not force roadkill harvesters to remove the entire carcass from the side of the road, and so there could still be plenty of food left over for scavengers like bald eagles.